Well, hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. People will be coming in and joining us. Um, so as you know, we've been planning this for so long. And uh, this is the day to have this conversation with those girls. Uh, we are here to empower them with those conversation and those things that we've used as women, you know, to do the things that we're doing right now and doing our, our best in the world. So our girls are right there in Gambia connecting with us. So um, as you guys know, it's Aneta. I've been behind this with our team um, organizing this event today. And um, just to give a bit of a background how this thing came about. So in April, I went to the Gambia uh, where I was born and raised. And, you know, I had the opportunity to, to sit in a conversation with some elderly women and the conversation was the same since I was a child. And like this conversation has not changed. It hasn't <laughs> elevated. Something needs to be done. We need to interrupt this conversation with something much more powerful. Now that we know better, now that we are in a global world, there are other conversations happening out there that girls should be exposed to. And I, we believe that those conversations should be about, you know, starting their own business, being engaged in some you know, uh, entrepreneurial activities. We have so many ladies here that have their own businesses and they're doing it in a big way. So girls should be able to, to, to be able to know how to start their own business, you know, how to love themselves. You know, we need to hear those conversations that's much more beyond motherhood and being a wife and a mother. What are those other things that they could, they should be exposed to? Yes, being a mother is, is important. Being a wife is important. It all goes with it. But there's much more that girls should hear and should be exposed to. So without any further ado, we'll leave, we'll, I'll give it to the participants or our speakers that will be speaking today just to introduce themselves one minute each as we get into this conversation. Uh, Dr. Catherine, if you could start, if you could start with you. Thank you so much. Okay, girls. I'm Dr. Catherine Sullivan. Um, I'm a mother of four boys that are adults now, but they're still growing up. They're 42, 40, 37, and 35. I have two granddaughters and I, um, so I'm a grandmother and I'm also a scientist. So I went to college. I actually went to college three times. I went to the University of, uh, I went to Marquette University in Milwaukee. And then I went to Northwestern University in Chicago. Then I went to the University of Southern California in Los Angeles and got a PhD. And then I went to UCLA and got an um, advanced degree in public health. So the reason that I'm talking to you today is because of my background in brain science and how we can use brain science to empower girls like you. And I'm so honored to be here. And I want to thank Annetta for, for introducing me to this group. Um, we met in Clubhouse. So she's right. The world is, is our oyster. And it means we, we are all together now. It's one world. It is a chance for women to share ideas about science and transform the conversation. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Yeah, can we have the next speaker, please? I'll go ahead. Uh, my name is Jenna Basise. I'm just like Aneta said, I'm also born, raised in the Gambia. I live here in the United States, in the state of Maryland. Um, what else do I say? Um, I was once a little girl like you girls over there. I'm very, very excited to be part of this conversation. Um, like Aneta mentioned, I'm also an entrepreneur and I also do lecture entrepreneurship at a, a state university here in Maryland. I am a mother of three boys also. I'm a mother, I am a wife, and of course an entrepreneur, just like Aneta said, we can do it as well. And as uh, Dr. Sullivan mentioned um, earlier, the world is our oyster. It is small. We can meet anywhere these days. It doesn't matter where on the planet we are. And here we go, we are proving that. So I'm very, very excited and honored to be part of this great conversation. And thank you, Aneta, for this foundation that you have put together supporting goals. As the saying goes, when you educate a goal, you educate a village. So thank you for that journey. And I'm glad to be part of the conversation. 
Super. Thank you so much, Jainaba. Okay, so Shan, Shan, you can take the stage. Um, okay, I'm Shan. Um, I'm founder of um, Humane Bantu Foundation um, in the Gambia. Um, I was growing up in UK, so UK has been my life, and then I decided it's time for me to come home, come home to Africa, where I feel that I can bring my experiences and bring my uh, fitness mentoring here, um, where I could work online as well, as well as amongst the community. So um, I'm here to empower girls through fitness and through mindsets. So thank you for having me today. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shan. Yeah, Awa, are you ready now? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I couldn't miss this for the world. I apologize for not being ready, ready. Uh, my second son is moving into college today. Um, the date was, you know, so much going on, but I couldn't miss this for the world. This is the most, probably the, the most important thing to me personally, because it's for girls. Um, I was nurtured early um, for where I am today. So I am happy to share my story and, and give a little bit of my two cents on this. But my name is Awasisa Hojai. I'm from Banjo. I um, attended Albion Primary School. Um, I know they renamed it, but it was Albion in Banjo. I went to Muslim High School. So, um, you know, the nurturing I had has created who I am today. I'm a mother of four. Um, I'm a business owner and I'm very, very happy to be here. Thank you so much, Aneta, for, for, for inviting me to this. We haven't met in person, just meeting on social media. Um, if I have portrayed anything to deserve this, um, I'm really proud of you. Um, you are so inspiring what you're doing. I've never seen anything like it. And I was just happy to be on the bandwagon. Anything you need from me, I'll be here. Thank you. Super, super, super. Thank you. It's because of the energy that you put out there. That's why we connect. It's the energy. Yeah. Thank you yes. so much. Thank yes. You. So Precious, is Precious here? Precious, can you take the stage? Yes. Hello, everyone. Hey, Anit. Mm -hmm. uh, so my name is Precious Namo. I am from Zimbabwe, but I'm currently schooling at Stellenbosch University where I'm studying BCom Actuarial Science and this being my third year. I met Anate online, this is an online world, earlier on in July, and we were having a conversation about collaborating with my NGO that I founded for Southern Africa called The Precious You. And I was actually inspired by how she's been inspiring girls in Gambia. And I'm here today because I'm a mentor and I love girls. If anything, I live for the girls. So that's why I'm here today. I'm also a student just like you. So I love you, sisters. Let's get this going. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. So girls, um, you can see Precious is just not, um, is someone close to your age. So you can see someone that's like close to your age doing it big and better and she's here to share what she's doing and all those conversation that she was you know open to and that will be able to help you that you can achieve anything uh, Nancy is Nancy Nancy you can take the stage yes hello how are you I'm currently stuck outside of my office trying to get, get inside but I'm here and I'm well and I'm excited to be here my name is Nancy Aragbae I'm a former educator now turned to business strategist. And so my overall goal is to help small business owners have successful businesses that have longevity. Um, I'm really big on leadership development and business development. And I am passionate about young girls using their superpower to truly transform the world. Someone said it earlier today that when you educate a girl, you, you truly are educating an entire community and empowering the community. <clears throat> so with that being said, I'm happy to be here. I'm going to mute my mic and wait um, until I have an opportunity to, to pour into you girls. So thank you for having me. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. Um, do we have Nimi? Yes, Nimi is here. Nimi, you can take the stage and introduce yourself. Yes, I am here, guys. Happy <laughs> Saturday. How are you, everyone? Um, so happy to be here, guys. My name is Mimi Bello. 
and I am the CEO and founder of Lincoln Power, and we are a woman empowerment uh, networking platform focusing on building a global impact for small businesses, entrepreneurs, and career professionals. I am actually at another, another event today, but I always love to take out time to do community outreach and give back. I am a true servant leader at heart. I'm so happy to be here to support such a great initiative. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Nimi. The thing is, all of these ladies and everyone, apart from the girls, I've met the girls, but apart from every lady that's here, I've never met you guys. We've all met online. Isn't that amazing? The power of the internet has brought us together. Uh, Rebecca, would you be able to say something? I know you are traveling. If not, we can skip you. You're currently No, I, I, I've just got back. So I'm <laughs> just, so it's a good time for me to say hello. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Rebecca Hemmings. I'm the, I'm a mom of an eight-year-old um, daughter who is amazing. And um, I, you know, I spend my time trying to empower her, but I've empowered lots of young people over the years through my business, Strawberry Words. So it started out working in schools, in educational settings, teaching young people to really help, help them to um, get to know themselves, to work on their identities. Uh, what we now do is um, we train adults in anti-racism. Um, and my, my, my baby brand is Time to Glow Up, where we help women and girls to really realize who they are and acknowledge their worth, which is what I'll be speaking about later. I'm, I'm a cancer survivor, so this is like really important to me personally. Also, I, I sponsor a young lady. I met Anetta last year and I was really so sort of blown away by, by the work that you do, Anetta. And I just thought, oh my gosh, like, how can I help? Um, so I'm really, really excited. I've been to the Gambia once. I loved it. I felt like home. My family's from Jamaica, but Gambia is really my home, really. So uh, yeah, that, that's me. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you. So this is um, the world we live in now. So it's the digital age. It's the internet age. We are all connecting here by the power of the internet. And we are here to pouring into these girls. So the powerful conversation that would uplift them, the powerful conversation that they will go home with today and will interrupt those conversations that they've been used to, you know, to leave them with something impactful that they can think about and know that anything is possible regardless of your current circumstances, regardless of what your, you, you know, your background, where you're from, it's easy. You can connect with, with, with us, young ladies. You can connect with us. Jainaba, our, myself, we are from the Gambia, but you have an opportunity to reach a global audience through the power of the internet. It's no longer somebody that's living to your, in, next to your neighborhood, no longer somebody that's um, uh, from your background. You can connect with people. You have the same energy. You have the same synergy. You have the same mindset. So use this moment as an opportunity to just open your mind and soak in everything. I did say that you should come with a notepad and a pen to take notes because those notes that you're taking today, one day you'll reflect back on them and say, yes, I was there. And this was the moment that I had this that sparked something in me, okay?